All right, beta. We have one more question of errors in suspense account, and it's May 2012 question with the name of Hong. Hong's income statement showed a draft profit for the year. What is draft profit, beta? Draft profit is a profit uh, which has some of the errors that needs to be fixed, that needs to be corrected. After completion of the income statement, following errors were discovered. What we need to do, beta? We need to make general entries. General entries, beta, uh, needs to be made in the general journal. Okay, general journal, also known as the journal. Now there are four entries that need to be corrected. In the first entry, we have purchased the goods on credit from Taka. Four thousand have been omitted from the books. So we have uh, completely omitted to make the entry. We haven't made the debit entry or the credit entry. Now it's time to make the entry. Whenever we buy goods on credit, beta purchase account would be debited. And if the purchase is being debited, the name of the supplier would be credited. That is Taka. Purchase debit and supplier account would be credited. So this is basically error of omission. We have not yet been required to write narratives. And if we have required to write narrative, we just need to write to correct error of omission. We just need to write to correct and the name of the error. Now goods sold to on credit to Nolan. Uh, Nolan is our correct customer. Have been posted to the account of North. So basically, we have mistakenly write, uh, written some other customer's account. In the name of some other customer's account, the correct customer was Nolan, but we, in error, debited to the account of North. And why am I am I assuming we have debited? Because normally the customer would be debit and sales would be credit. So if uh, if it does not mention that we have made a debit or credit mistake, we would assume that we have debited to the wrong customer's account. Now the wrong customer North account would be credited. And Nolan account would be debited. Okay, Nolan is the correct customer that needs to be debited, and North is the wrong customer that needs to be credited. So basically, beta, this is error of commission. Error of commission is set of occurred when we have made the entry in the wrong account. Account is wrong, but uh, the type of account is correct. Discount was received. How much? Three thousand fifty have been debited to discount received. So basically, beta, discount received need to be credited because it's an income. But what we have done, we have wrongly debited the discount receipt. Now, if we credited the discount receipt once, so the uh, wrongly made entry would be credited. But the discount that have been received from suppliers would not have not have been recorded yet. So uh, it's easy to uh, correct it by making entry with the double amount. Now, uh, whenever we have made the debit or credit entry, it's a reversal entry, and it needs to be corrected by making the entry with the double amount. So instead of crediting discount received by thirty fifty, we would be crediting it by sixty one hundred. Discount received would be credited by sixty one hundred, and suspense would be debited by how much? Sixty one hundred. So this this would uh, uh, be known as uh, discount received. And finally, beta a debt of three seventy five owing by Long. Long is our customer, and it has been irrecoverable because it has been very long that he has not paid us the amount. So it is now ultimately bankrupt. No entries have been made in the book, so it's uh, we need to record the irrecoverable debt. So irrecoverable debt is an expense that needs to be debited, and the customer's account uh, name is Long. Long's account need to be credited. Okay, so we cannot wait any longer for him to pay us the amount due. Now, secondly, what we need to do, we need to make the statement of corrected profit. What is statement of corrected profit? Statement of corrected profit is that uh, due to the errors, the profit that we have uh, recorded was incorrect. Now it's time to correct the errors. There are three columns given: increase, decrease, and no effect. We just need to see whether, uh, because of correcting this error, the profit would increase or decrease. Okay. Let us see one by one uh, errors uh, correction, and we need to see whether the profit would increase or decrease. Now, firstly, beta purchase account is being debited. Whenever the purchase would increase, so our cost of sale would increase, and if the cost of sale would increase, then the profit would be decrease. Okay, purchase is basically decrease the profit. Secondly, beta Nolan and North are both our customers, and customers are debtors, and this would be recorded in a SOFP and not in the income statement. Thirdly, beta discount receive is an income, and whenever the income increases, so our profit would increase. But uh, as you remember, that uh, income is recorded after gross profit with the name of add other income. So if we are increasing income by sixty one hundred, so our profit would also increase by how much? Sixty one hundred. Now in the second entry, as would it would not affect profit, we also need to write here 
no effect we cannot leave it blank and thirdly discount receive is an income income would increase our profit by how much 6100 with the amount that we have made the correcting entry this is the correct amount and lastly beta irrecoverable debt it is an expense and expenses uh, whenever expense would increase our profit would go down so bad debt or irrecoverable debt would decrease our profit now as you can see profit is being increased by how much 6100 and it has been decreased by 4375 so we need to uh, net out of uh, to see whether the increase is more or decrease is more now as you can see increase is more than decrease so there is a net increase of how much 1725 what we need to do we need to add the 1725 in this draft profit in order to calculate the corrected or revised profit so this is beta how we calculate mm -hmm. Uh, how we made statement of corrected profit and lastly we have some other requirements in this question uh, as well and these are relating to accounting concept we have studied previously prudence matching and as such money measurement let us see Hong is considering number of possible action when preparing his future income statement uh, they are considering these three options state in each of the three above which accounting concept would be broken if Hong implemented his proposal, in each case, give a reason for your answer. So in the first uh, error that we have done, we have ch uh, charging the income statement with the total cost of non-current asset purchase in the year. So for example, if we have purchased an air conditioner beta for maybe $10,000 and this or uh, maybe $1,000. So this air conditioner, if it has a life of four years, so therefore this air conditioner shouldn't be recorded as an expense in the first year alone but instead it would be recorded as a non-current asset and it would be depreciated for a period of four years why because we are getting the benefit from the air conditioner for number of years that is four years so therefore the uh, the cost of the air conditioner should be charged to income statement over a period of four years but what we did here we uh, just charged the uh, income statement with the total cost in the first year so basically which concept we are violating here beta we are violating matching concept and what does matching concept states beta matching concept states that uh, that an asset should be taken over to the income statement over number of years so the number of years are basically the life of the asset the number of years through which we are going to take the benefit of that asset over its useful life okay so this is basically a depreciation this is matching concept depreciation should be charged as an expense to income statement and match against income or revenue generated by the asset for the year okay so if the our uh, air conditioner is benefiting us for four years so the air conditioner uh, cost 1000 should be spread over four years and if it's a straight line that every year 250 dollar uh, of the asset should be depreciated as an expense and every year our net book value would go down by $250 okay recording the value of the increased skill of the workforce as an income so our staff is now highly skilled and what we are doing we are recording the skill of the workforce as an income so which accounting concept is violated but uh, there is an accounting concept with the name of money measurement and money measurement concept basically states that in uh, accounts only those uh, items or those transaction can be recorded which have a monetary value attached to them okay and if any asset does not have or any transaction does not have a monetary value attached to it that cannot be recorded in the account so with a hair we are recording the skill of the workforce we cannot uh, uh, actually measure the skill of the workforce and there can be two reasons firstly we are not sure that how much skill the uh, employee has acquired and secondly this employee is not our slave okay they can leave our organization whenever they wish okay so uh, therefore we cannot record them as a, a income or asset for the year okay income for the year or a asset in the srp so money measurement concept states that in accounts we can only record transactions that have a financial or monetary value only items with a monetary value are recorded in the financial statement this is basically money measurement concept sorry and thirdly where the third concept let us see third error where what we have done we have changed the method of depreciation to be used for each non-current asset to reflect current market value so what are we doing uh, for one of the vehicle maybe a honda vehicle we are uh, charging a straight line depreciation and for toyota vehicle 
वी आर चार्जिंग रिड्यूसिंग बैलेंस और मे बी फॉर अजूकी वहीकल वी आर चार्जिंग रिवेलेशन मैथड so uh, is this allowed no it's not allowed beta whichever method you use should be used for the entire class of assets yes we can do that that uh, for buildings and furniture we may use straight line and for computers or motor vehicles or office equipment we can use reducing balance and for small value items assets such as loose tools we can use revaluation method this is allowed this is not against consistency concept okay consistency concept says that whenever we are applying uh, a method to uh, one asset so all of the assets in that category or in that class should be charged with equal uh, depreciation okay so all of the vehicles would be uh, charged maybe with the reducing balance and all of the furniture or building should be uh, used uh, depreciated using straight line and all of the tools or small value items should be depreciated using revaluation so we cannot pick and choose for each asset uh, let us use this method for this asset this is not allowed and this is against consistency and if we are not applying consistency what is the issue here uh, we cannot compare the account from one year to the next okay so consistency concept beta basically helps us uh, to make accounts uh, on the same pattern so that we can compare the account from one year to the next the same method used to chart depreciation should be used from one year to the next to aid comparison okay to aid comparison so that comparison can be actually made so this is basically consistency concept